Welcome, Cancer, to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition bringing messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit me on my website at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com or you could purchase the extended, which could be found in the description box below, or you can become a member by clicking on the join button on my channel to receive all extended readings for the price of one. You'll get extra benefits such as discounted readings exclusive to members only. So without further ado, this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and only angels, nice and great as good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. Alright guys, so let me go ahead and get this adjusted. I need the perma grip on this mic. <laughs> Sorry. So let's go ahead and take a look. Spirit, what can you reveal to me about the person who is connecting uh, to the sign of Cancer? Who is Cancer connecting to in love? Who is the person that is coming towards the sign of Cancer in love? Thank you, Spirit. What can you reveal to me about the person connecting to the sign of cancer? Who is the person that's connecting to the sign of cancer? Thank you, spirit. Your person is quiet. I'm kind of uh, surprised here. Now, I was supposed to do your reading last night, but I ran out of time. So I'm doing yours first for today. Spirit, is there anything that wants to be shown towards cancer and their love life? This person is waiting. Yeah, I was waiting on them too. <laughs> waiting for your return hasn't been easy, but I am still hopeful. So your person has been waiting for you to either come back towards them. Okay. Or maybe they're waiting for a chance to come towards you. Is there anything else spirit about this energy or person that is in love with the sign of cancer? What can you tell me? Okay, we have here a uh, deception and manifesting in reverse. It says, I lied to you because I'm afraid of the choices you'll make. So what I'm getting with this is that they're no longer deceiving you. Um, they don't want to lie that they have been waiting on you. Uh, they're no longer afraid of the choices that you make in regards to them. So I feel as if the ball is in your court. You have the ability to choose if you want this person to come back, but this person has been waiting for the right time to reapproach you. Now, mind you, we're actually going through a Mercury in retrograde, so um, there is a high probability or a potential that you could hear from this person. Now, also, we have manifesting, but it's in reverse. 
It says, I'm manifesting loving and meaningful relationships, which tells me that your person is not. They're not manifesting uh, meaningful and loving relationships. However, your person wants to be honest that they have been waiting on you. So something tells me that they did something towards you in the past and they're kind of, um, you know, wanting like a hint or a sign to see if um, you're open or available, you know, for them to return. That's the feeling that I'm getting, but I really feel like they're keeping back and not really approaching you, um, almost as if they're waiting for the right time. So let's see. Barry, can you please reveal to me what is the hidden truth in regards to this person? Please clarify the energies of the person that is connecting to cancer and love. Thank you. I feel you even though we are apart you know your person has been waiting waiting for the right time because uh, I also see I lost myself for a little while so there's definitely a separation that happened between you and this particular person so you're definitely dealing with a past person and just being near you is intoxicating so I feel as if they lost themselves for a little bit. You know, what I'm getting is that for some, your person may have an alcohol addiction, okay? And that's one of the reasons why they weren't able to manifest a reconnection with you. Um, however, I feel as if your person really wants to be honest with you that they have been waiting. Um, they feel you even though that you guys are separated. So... You could be dealing with, you know, a soulmate, a soul partner, could be a twin flame, okay? Um, but I definitely feel like something has happened in the past where you guys had to split up for whatever reason. Everyone's situation is different, but just know this, they have been waiting to return back to you. They feel as if they don't know if they have the opportunity to do so. Uh, I really feel like you have uh, the power to say yes or no if this person really wants to come back into your life that's what i'm getting here so far so let's go ahead and see what else spirit can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to a person that is connecting to the sign of cancer Clear messages, please, Spirit, in regards to a person connecting to the sign of cancer. How are they currently thinking of you? How are they feeling? What did they want? What did they want to do about the situation? What are their challenges? And what is the outcome? Thank you. Wow, your person wants another chance. Um, they're actually awakened towards this and they're finally seeing um, kind of like a, maybe a, kind of like a sign is what I'm getting. This person is uh, spiritually connected with you. That's why I see that I feel you even though we are apart. This person, okay, is feeling you, okay? This is you and this is your person. They're actually feeling you, okay? Even though that you guys are in physical separation. That's what I'm getting. They have been waiting for the right time to see if you'll take them back. And yeah, exactly. With the three of wands, they're just waiting to see, um, you know, is this the right time uh, for some as you're watching this? It could be within three days. It could be three weeks for some. But your person is just waiting for the opportune time to open up. Wow. Now, for some, it's been a while. Okay. This person moves very slow. It, you know, it could have been about a year. And you're possibly dealing with an earth sign. Or maybe they have earth in their chart. But I definitely feel that they're uh, slowly coming forward towards you. 
and uh, you know, I feel like there was a third party situation that actually got in the way. They're slowly moving away from third parties. That's why they lost themselves for a little while. For you, it might have felt like an eternity. Um, for others, you know, maybe you hold a grudge against this person because they chose to stay stuck in a karmic situation. But I'm, I'm feeling that your person is actually letting this third party go. So they can have a new beginning with you. Now, we just recently uh, had a new moon in Libra. And so your person really wants to balance things out. They want to uh, do what, what's fair. And I feel as if they receive some sort of clarity about uh, some kind of a new beginning. Okay. Uh, this feels as if uh, this was kind of like a kind of like a, a nudge from universe that it's time to have a fresh new start especially with you they want to get out of this heartbreak okay they're they're wanting to heal from this third party they're not happy they're not happy because they know that they missed an opportunity to have a beautiful loving connection with you also uh you know uh when it comes to family maybe they were not in alignment with their uh their family values with the person that they were they chose to be with and that's for some so now your person is very clear-minded about what truly feels like home and what I'm sensing that it was you all along. I'm also getting that they're, they're, they're not fighting this connection anymore. They're almost as if they're open towards divine. So again, they're ready for a fresh new start. They're ready to receive. They're ready to change. I, I feel as if, you know, your person is waiting for the right time to come towards you. Yeah, you know, they're not feeling happy and they feel as if they're accepting, even if you wouldn't take them back, they're accepting their loss because it really was a loss. They lost themselves for a little bit and, you know, they're, they're feeling lost without you also. They have finally come to terms that, you know, they should just release whatever expectations that other people have on your person they're very they spread themselves too thin is what i'm hearing and they try to take care of everyone's needs except for themselves and they're actually releasing this burden of having to take care of everyone except for themselves so your person is very clear about you know how they operated in the past how they treated or left you in the past and now they're they're coming to terms with reflecting on what has happened your person definitely feels as if they want to reconcile with you that's that's the feeling that i'm getting guys and yeah, there's a lot of hidden truths here, a lot of secrets, you know, because they feel like they're drowning without you. They feel you, even though you guys are, are in separation, okay, physical separation. I feel you even though we're apart. So it's very strong in today's channeling. They know that they didn't offer you balance in the physical. And they're not happy. So in their 3D physical life, I see that your person isn't happy with the situation and they want to move away from whatever that has transpired and move forward. I feel like your person is coming to visit you or um, they could be traveling and uh, they want to possibly communicate to you um, some news, okay, that they, they've moved. They moved on. They packed their bags. Um, they finally let go of a karmic for some. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like for some, your person is actually at a clear physical distance. And I mean by like continents. Maybe this is through states. Um, I I'm getting at least three to five hours for some. I if you live in the same like land mass. That's what I'm getting could be six hours for some the other thing i'm also picking up on is that they weren't very clear with their motives or intentions and uh they were taken by surprise um they realized that something had to give they want to communicate to you 
Okay, this communication comes out of nowhere. And what I'm seeing is that they want to give you an offer. Wow, cancer, like whoever this person is, they're, they want to come back with a, a very solid offer. It's very strong. Let's see. You know, what I'm seeing here is that you could be dealing with a fire sign and they want victory, okay? They're feeling good that it's time. It's time to really focus more on this connection towards you. I really feel as if um, they know what they want and um, they're making preparations to come forward. How are they feeling? Damn. Again, there's a fire sign. So there is a very strong uh, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. Your person wants to come and really maybe tie the knot with you. Uh, this uh, person is actually bringing stability, passion, uh, a, a sense of renewal. They want to celebrate with you. Like it's a homecoming. Your person is coming home. That, that's the feeling I'm getting. Like, and, and I feel like, you know, they're, they're coming with good intentions here before they weren't very clear but i feel like now they know what they want so what is it that they want wow they want you they want to uh really get out of this energy of not being able to open up with their emotions because they know that you are their their true destiny they know that um they can't they're gonna take their chance and come forward towards you even though that in the past that they weren't expressive of their emotions. I feel as if your person really wants to balance some things out so that they can uh, move forward towards you. That's what I'm getting. So if you feel that this is resonating with you, I'm going to take the rest into the extended. And in the extended, I'm going to go over what are the actions your person is going to take, what is their challenges, and what is the outcome, along with uh, messages of love, things that your person would like to say towards you, and some guidance messages from spirit. And also, if you join me uh, on the extended, I'll actually pull uh, some charms and see if there's any additional energies that want to come through uh, with the charm reading so thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye